Mm -hmm. We've got a clinical case. Let's go. Be careful, huh? 45-year-old woman presents with a long history of chronic constipation characterized by infrequent hard stools and persistent feeling of incomplete evacuation. She has tired in increasing her fiber and water intake with minimal improvement. On colonoscopy, very interesting question, a colonoscopy was normal. She undergoes colonic manometer testing. Which of the following manometer findings would be most consistent with slow transit constipation? Interesting. So, option A, paradoxical contraction of the puberectalis muscle during contemplatification. And ex uh, option B, an exaggerated uh, gastrocolic reflex after a meal. Option C, a reduced number of high amplitude propagating contractions, HAPC, huh? in the colon, that's correct. Hypersensitivity to rectal balloon distension of, of, at low volumes. No, of course, the correct option is uh, option C, a reduced number of high amplitude propagating contractions in the colon. So the question asks the students to differentiate between the various types of chronic constipation by identifying the specific psychological finding for show transit constipation. So why uh, HAPC is a correct answer? Slow transit constipation is a primarily motility disorder, motility disorder where the intrinsic neuromuscular function of the colon is impaired. So the colon main job is to proper stool forward towards the rectum. This is primarily achieved by powerful coordinated muscle contractions that sweep down the length of the colon known high amplitude. Propagate, high amplitude what? High amplitude propagating contractions, HAPC. In slow transit constipation, these propulsive contractions are weak, infrequent or absent. As a result, stool moves through the colon at a much slower rate allowing for exercise, excessive water reabsorption, which leads to hard, dry stools and infrequent bowel movements. So why there are option, uh, other, options are, other options are incorrect? Okay, what we've got. Paradoxical contraction of puberectalis muscle. This describes outlet obstruction constipation, also known as pelvic floor dysynergia or anismus. In this condition, the propulsive function of the colon is normal, but the patients cannot effectively evacuate the stool from the rectum because the pelvic floor muscles, which are supposed to relax during defecation, paradoxically contract. So it's a pushing against a closed door problem, if you one. Next option, an exaggerated gastrocolic reflex. The gastrocolic reflex is the normal urge to defecate that occurs off, uh, after a meal. An exaggerated reflex is more characteristic to IBS and diarrhea and not constipation. And finally, hypersensitivity to rectal balloon distension. This is a hallmark of visceral hypersensitivity, a key feature of irritable bowel syndrome. It explains the pain and discomfort patients with IBS feel, but it doesn't explain slow transit of stool through the colon. So how you all take away? Chronic constipation is not a single entity. It's a crucial to differentiate between short transit constipation and problem with, with colonic propulsion, characterized by reduced HAPC, the outlet obstruction constipation, a problem with evacuation characterized by pelvic floor dysynergia.